all too easy to just memorize what a bacterium is, what the Krebs cycle is. It's too easy to memorize Newton's second law of physics and not connect it to a larger picture, right? So that young students, or even not so young students, don't understand why these isolated pieces of information are important when they're not in a broader context. We start out here with a, with, a, with a happy little bacterium. And maybe this happy little bacterium is like living in your stomach, or maybe he or she is, is living on like a spoiled piece of bread or something like that. And all of a sudden, this bacterium starts thinking, gee, I don't, I don't feel so good. For a student who's never learned this before, but is super confused about the difference between lytic and lysogenic viruses and how they infect, something like this with a cute story and a simple path lets them understand it for the first time. So then when their teacher is describing it in class, they can follow along and they can pick up and they can go from there. We need people who know a lot about science, who also want to talk to people who don't know a lot. That's crucial for a future society and for the innovations that come out of science to sort of work, be effective, but also be acceptable. Right after this conference, all of you can connect to this global community and can make a difference in how science is taught and learned by students all over the world. I feel it's an enlightening experience being here listening to so many people related to science and the perceptions that they have about science and its communication.